Sangyong has caravanners firmly in its sights with the new Corando. Around two-thirds of its new SUV are expected to leave the showroom with towing gear already fitted. On paper, it has the makings of a promising tow car with a powerful diesel engine, a high curb weight and a low list price. We're testing the Corando EX 4x4 to see if it lives up to that promise. It's certainly powerful enough to pull any suitable match. With 173 bhp, it outguns most rivals. We matched the car to an Abbey Expression 554 and towed from 30 to 60 mph in 12.1 seconds. The engine may be powerful, but it's a bit flat at very low revs. It makes quite a din too. To be fair, it does settle down once you're cruising along at 60 miles an hour or so. At motorway speeds, the Corando makes a stable tow car, needing few steering corrections to stay straight and true. It coped well enough in the lane change test too, although numb steering doesn't help the driver place the car precisely. Driven solo, the noisy engine and numb steering remain our biggest criticisms. In other respects though, it's a huge improvement on earlier Sangyoks. The Corando corners tidily and rides well enough over all but the roughest surfaces. The cabin is a step forward too. The finish is rather cheap but it feels well screwed together and there's lots of space, especially in the back seats. There's no shortage of toys to play with either, and a long list of safety kit as standard. With the rear seats upright, there's a useful 486 litres of luggage space. Fold the rear seats down and the load floor is all but flat. The maximum nose weight of 80 kilograms is relatively modest for a car with a two-ton towing limit, something to keep an eye on when loading up. However, the more we drive the Corando, the more we like it. There are a few rough edges, but with a five-year warranty and keen pricing, the Sangyong is sensible, practical and good value.